This video is sponsored by M Software. You've probably heard of the Dutch painter Piet Mondrian. This dude was prolific. This is typical of his work. Well, I'm going to create a Mondrian in three minutes flat. Watch closely and you'll pick up some tips along the way. Since old Mondrian was uh, European, we're going to work in millimeters here. I'm going to make a document that's 900 millimeters by 900 millimeters, and I'm going to specify a gutter of 9 millimeters. That'll become important in a minute. And I'm going to begin by just dragging out a rectangle here that covers the page. And I'm going to fill that with black, and I'm going to right-click on the rectangle and lock it so that I can work on top of it. Now I'm going to draw another rectangle on top of that, but this time, before I let go of the mouse, I'm going to hit the up arrow repeatedly to subdivide the frame into rows, and then the right arrow key on the keyboard repeatedly to subdivide it into columns. And then I can fill that with white. Now the gutter that was created here by default is exactly 9 millimeters because that's what we specified when we created the new document. Now I can get creative. I'm going to overlap a couple of rectangles here and then just combine them with a pathfinder. I think I'll repeat that down here. There we go. Next I want to split this into two rows. So I'm going to select these and run the free Make Grid script that comes with InDesign in your scripts panel. And I'm going to specify that I want to split this into two rows, one column with a 9mm gutter. OK out of that. And there we go. Next, I'll use the Gap tool over here to change the distribution of these frames. I can move entire columns, as it were, by just dragging on a gap. And then furthermore, if I hold down the Shift key with the Gap tool, I can break out of that and manipulate a individual box boundary. Kind of hard to explain, easy to see. There we go. All that remains is to add some color, add a splash of red and green and blue and yellow, like good old Piet. Oh, that's lovely. The last thing I want to do is make this look a little bit more like a painting. So I'm going to unlock that background rectangle and then select everything on the page and copy it. Then I'm going to move over to Illustrator make a new document in Illustrator the same size as the InDesign document and then I'm going to paste everything in. Then to roughen this up a bit I'm going to go to Object, Path, Add Anchor Points and then I'll finish up by going to Effect, Distort and Transform, Tweak and put in very small values here. Deselect everything, zoom in and we can see that a little bit of a human touch has been added to it doesn't look quite so perfect anymore. It looks more like a painting. There you go, a finished Mondrian in three minutes. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.